Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anime Survivor episode. I don't even fucking know what we're doing anymore. Bionicle versus Lego. We're in uh, we're taking the cast of Bionicle to the Legends of Metro Nui and putting it against the cast of the Lego movie because. Fucking whatever, man. Fuck y'all. So uh, today we are joined by Sam. Hi, Blake. Hey, and Andrew. Yo, and if Blake sounds weird, that's because he's sick. Congratulations, Blake. Is it COVID? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. well, the good news for all of you is unlike Tim (laughs) Pool, we do this remotely. And therefore, (laughs) an episode doesn't involve all of us getting together and having a mini spreader event. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've I mean, com- and besides, he's got his COVID reveal party tomorrow, so we'll burn down the state tomorrow, too. <laughs> Does a COVID... Wait, wait. So, do you burn down a forest in a COVID reveal party as well? Or is that just baby reveal? Oh, parties? yeah. Totally. <laughs> Congratulations. No, no, it's well, it's contagious. You, you also I guess it's COVID. You burn kill... down a city, I think. It's not a you forest. You also have to kill an endangered animal. I mean, obviously. Yeah. So... <laughs> Coming for you, Salamanders. So, Blake... What do you know about Bionicle besides what Donald told you in our chat group five minutes ago? I believe Bionicle is really just a rebranding of the Catholic Church for the 21st century. And as a Catholic, I find that repugnant. Okay, Andrew, what do you know about Survivor? Uh, there's people. They, they might be on an island. Andrew, that, that's not applicable here. Literally every character is made out of plastic. Sam, what mm-hmm. did we go through to prepare for this? Uh, well, we went through something worse than waterboarding. Um, <laughs> yeah, what we did <laughs> was, was actually legally speaking movie. torture. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we, we watched the second Bionicle movie. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, we're sorry. You shouldn't have. With such I great mean lines that. from you, Sam, as I've been paying attention the whole time. I still don't understand what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Damn right. I think I think we finally realized what it was like to be our dad watching Mewtwo Strikes Back with us as children. <laughs> <laughs> Something he will to this day remind us he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to my dad does that too. Your dad. <laughs> yeah. Having having rewatched some Pokemon episodes, I now understand his suffering. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam, don't say that. Pokemon's good. Now, (laughs) the bad news is two of our panelists for today bailed on us. Donald, because he has to sleep for a job or some shit. And Joe, who decided that because we are doing um, the Legends of Metronui, which is the second generation of Bionicle instead of the first generation, therefore told us to go fuck ourselves. Well, that's I I really appreciate that he's a Bionicle Gen 1-er. Yeah. (laughs) Anyone, anyone who's a Gen Oneer doesn't matter. The content is golden in my eyes. Even even Parks and Rec Gen Oneers are fine. Like, why isn't he the reason we're doing this? No, Pocketman's the reason we're doing this. Joe is just my friend who happened to be really into Bionicle anyway. Oh, so now you know which friend to cut out of your life. No, he's the only one who will come over and play board games with me because he's already had COVID, so he can't give it to me. Oh, but that's not true. Well, that's not actually how that works. Shut that's up. Not... His parents went on a cruise and they got COVID because that's what cruises do. They make you sick. The anyway. antibodies don't stay in your body long enough, just FYI. Huh? He can still get COVID again. You can still get yeah, it again. Yeah, I know. It's I, I know at this point, yeah, that's that's he's he's not immune anymore. We haven't had him over in months. Um but when we did have him over, we played Wingspan, which is his favorite board game because it has birds. And I beat him five out of six times, which proves that I love birds more than Joe. Yeah, I'm glad you're not, sucking up to our future bird overlords. I mean, <laughs> you, the, birds aren't real. They're just spy drones. Anyway, should we go over the cast, guys? Yes. Okay, <laughs> sure. I've been bearing this lead. So our cast on Team Metro Nui, we have Black Bionicle, which it I looks think green. is... Huh? It looks green. It does, yeah. It's it's the light. I'm pretty sure that's black bionicle. We have blue bionicle, brown bionicle, green that's bionicle, gold. red bionicle, Sauron, Tony Hawk, Waluigi Onicle, and white bionicle. Sam, mm-hmm. would you like to explain how Sauron and Tony Hawk are in this? 
All right. Well, I'll start with Tony Hawk. It's because there's a lot of sick boarding in Bionicle movies because, you know, they like to board on lava. So, I mean, obviously Tony Hawk. Um, as it comes to Sauron, um, the, these movies really tried to shove a lot of lore in. And it's like they're trying to be the next J.R.R. Tolkien. They even have, like, some dark mastermind going on. So we just threw Sauron in. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> he seemed the most reminiscent of the villain uh, yeah. We were between Sauron, Emperor Palpatine, and the Vulture from Spider-Man. <laughs> those, <laughs> those, and then Waluigi Onicle's here because I mean, Waluigi will never make it into anime Survivor, but Waluigi Onicle can. <laughs> I mean, he's a Bionicle, so he's already way yeah. cooler than Waluigi. Yeah. And then our other team is the Bricksburg team, which is <laughs> bad cop. Emmett Burkowski, Ironbeard, Lego Batman, Lord Business, Princess Unikitty, Spaceman Benny, Vitruvius, and Wildstyle. Andrew, you've seen the Lego movie, right? I have. Okay, uh, do you want to tell us anything about these people that you assume normal people don't know? Uh, well, in case you didn't know, Bad Cop was a bad cop. Yeah. Emmett Burkowski is a main, has a severe case of main characteritis. Iron Beard is actually great. Just let's just, let's just vote for him. Uh, Lego Batman is probably getting a second spinoff movie before too long. Lord Business is your dad. He never has time for you, and he's not proud of you. Don't say uh, that about Princess my Unikitty. Dad. Hey, uh, we we can't be seen with Princess you. Unikitty. Uh, so I'm gonna skip that. Spaceman Benny is uh, all of us because we love space. Yeah. Vitruvius has been smoking way too much weed and wild style. I, I don't even know. Okay. So seeing I, this I, cast, Blake, who I are you rooting for? Note, I just want to note that Princess Unikitty was an early adopter of defund the police, so bad cop is not pleased with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, this is true. They are not friends. Oh yeah, no, no one no one likes bad cop. They're on the opposing scale of the color spectrum. Yes. So I'm going to be a basic bitch here and uh, I'm going to root for Lego Batman because uh, he's Batman and he's Lego and he's not Bionicle. Let's but he's just going to split off for his spinoff movie. Yeah, yeah. but you know what he's not going to be? The mega blocks of Legos, which is what Bionicle is. No, Bionicle Ooh, is the yeah. connects of Legos. He's uh, yes, more accurate. Duplo is the mega blocks of Legos. Absolutely. I, I Max, I just want to say, I don't think I've ever won an entire alliance to just get destroyed before, but I want the Onical Alliance to just go away, aside from all Luigi Onical. <laughs> also, I've got depressing news for all of you. In 2003, Bionicle was the largest selling Lego property. Oh, that... I know. I bought some of them, but this is Gen 2, and this is even farther heresy. Well, guess what? It was in 2006 as well. We should all kill ourselves. I mean, uh, Sa this Sam is probably the most I've ever contemplated that in my life. Sa Sam and I had Gen 1 Bionicles. We even had the board game, which Sam didn't realize until I reminded him of like 10 minutes ago. And then and he I Googled looked it up, it, and, and I was like, oh, it. yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mostly remember the little, the mini Bionicle figures that came with that were the player tokens because we just used those when we played with our Bionicles. <laughs> anyway, I'm rooting for Tony Hawk because it's fucking Tony Hawk. I mean, I was also rooting for Tony Hawk. <laughs> I guess you root for Sauron now. <laughs> no, I'm rooting for Tony Hawk. Yeah, he's an American so we can both root for Tony Hawk. He's he's fucking Tony Hawk. Uh, chat, chat, tell us who you want to see win. Pocket man, I know you requested this, and I know you're already disappointed, and I'm really happy about that. I like Lacuna Craft's pick. <laughs> I mean, Spaceman Benny's a good pick. It really is. So, uh, Toa Matau, fuck green, green Bionicle. <laughs> uh, uh, found the advantage move menu, which does nothing. So we're gonna proceed. Okay. Great. Uh, nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> We have an immunity challenge and the Bionicles win immunity. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're uh, going to have to keep all six Bionicles for now. Damn. <laughs> Good news is Gen 2 Bionicle only lasted from 2015 to 2016 because everybody agreed they were bad. Th these are 2004 Bionicles, Blake. No. Yeah. Are, are they really? Yeah, these no. are 2004 Bionicles. 
I mean, you, you kind of, it's what happened. So Toa Nuju, I mean, white bionicle has a major meltdown. Now, canonically, he's, huh? White privilege. <laughs> I mean, he does, he does get in a fight with brown bionicle in the movie. So he might be racist. I'm just, just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> The COVID is telling me it's white privilege. <laughs> oh. So I, I don't know. I think I think because he's the Toa of Ice, which, as we all know, gives him the power to levitate brick walls in the film. Yeah. Right, Sam. That Obviously. made so much yeah. sense. Totally. <laughs> he's an earthbender. I mean, like, why yeah. why wouldn't yeah, he be an he, earthbender? The Toa of like... Ice is an earthbender. Checks the fuck out. Uh, I, I think he's just upset there's no ice. Yeah. get to a tropical island he's he's super pumped and they're like hey by the way it's always 80 degrees out always always uh Toa Vakama also has a major meltdown so from what I know about Red Bionicle because basically I'm just trying to give Andrew and Blake enough knowledge of their characters so that they're not just so you have something to jump off of now the entire Metro Nui film is Toa Vakama having a meltdown because he has no idea what he wants to be until he finally figures his shit out. And as the Toa of Fire gains the power of invisibility, which, again, makes so much fucking sense. Yeah. So totally. the Fire Lord Ozai gains visibility. Here's the thing, though. He's not Fire Lord Ozai because, A, he's in theory a good guy. And B, he's an un... In he is a totally incompetent piece of shit with no confidence in himself. So he's Zuko before season three. And no, because Zuko was confident. <laughs> Fine. So he's Korra's maybe love interest from that one season. <laughs> Mako? There we go. I can't remember. Mako's names. also, no, he's none of them. There, There's no avatar surrogate for him, except maybe the cabbage merchant. Fine. He's oh, the cabbage okay. merchant. <laughs> <laughs> but if the cabbage merchant could turn in this hole for some fucking reason yeah <laughs> and then defeat the vulture from spider-man homecoming yeah and then uh toa Matau is impressing the rest of the team now as you guys know obviously toa Matau is the toa of air that's why he's sure. green sure and Bla blake andrew what what powers would you expect to get from being a green airbender uh grass you can move moss at impressive speeds sam sam they fucking nailed it didn't they hey, you, you get all i the don't know shape shifting you can just grow weed on, on command. i couldn't i couldn't tell the difference between green and brown so uh... oh yeah no to to Mattel, if i remember correctly effectively has the powers of a changeling yeah oh so he um, can turn into spaceman benny and be useful i think what happened was <laughs> He impressed the rest of the team, so he turned into all of their loved ones so they could spend quality time with their loved ones. Who had all died. <laughs> I oh, mean, I mean Tony, Tony Hawk's loved ones aren't dead. No, he should just changeling himself into Iroh. I think I think um, he turned into a sweet board for Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah, he turned <laughs> into a skateboard and Tony Hawk did some sick tricks. <laughs> did he turn into the punch and spikes from Pro Skater 2? <laughs> yeah, but the punji pits are gone, Blake. Uh, PC culture. <laughs> anyway, we have an alliance. And it's everybody but Green Bionicle. I just want to point out the I mean, existential terror that is Sauron and Tony Hawk on the same side. <laughs> Sauron will come up with the plan and Tony Hawk will execute it. It's how it goes. While doing a backflip. Yeah. He'll he'll kick flip over Legolas While to, being to get 46. to Frodo. This is just quality commentary. And we have another alliance that is... Uh, not Earth, Tony Hawk fire, or Waluigi wind, or water, white ice. or red. Can we call them Captain Planet? This one? Yeah. I mean, I want to call him Captain Sauron. That's even better. So I guess, I guess we have, uh, can we call, because green's not in the first alliance, can we call them Prohibition? Yes. <laughs> so we have Prohibition and Captain Sauron. Woo! Cool. Let's have a constitutional convention. No. 
Because you know who would go to the Constitutional Convention? Trump supporters. Fucking Tom Cotton. And then he would make it legal. Like, he he would make it constitutionally mandated that instead of a draft, everybody would have to spend three years in prison. I mean, let's just cut to the end first, right? Let's do it. Yeah, just do it. Anyway, Andrew, I've been talking a lot, so tell me what happens with Emmett Burkowski and Lego Batman finding something in common. Well, they both find that they are great at being main characters. And they both love it. And they both love wild style. Yeah, that too. We're, yeah. It's a weird love triangle. It but is. It's still there. I mean, it, it's it's like a love line, but then it loops in on itself like a fishhook theory because Lego Batman also loves himself. Way more than anyone should be able to. Yeah. And then uh, Ironbeard and Lord Business find something in common. What's up with that? Well, they're the mature adults of the group. I heard Iron Beard and Mature Adult. Yeah. Please elaborate. Well, they both have careers and they both do important things for and and help take care of the world. While everyone else just dresses up and does whatever they want. They they both approach Comic Con a little too hard. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> definitely true. I mean also yes. I I like Blake's interpretation that the two of them just went too hard at Comic Con. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Like Look, you're, I'm the you're... straight man. I don't come up with fun. I mean, that's okay. That's how it works. I mean, Blake, Blake has a COVID advantage right now. <laughs> yeah, it's all bonkers over here. I also, I don't know. Yeah, I, I also appreciate that Princess Unikitty copied over with the transparency background instead of becoming a transparency. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm just so in love with. Anyway, Is that she's outside of creation. Probably. Anyway, who who's going home from Bricksburg? Uh, I, I don't know. Vesuvius? Uh, I, I think it's going to be Emmett. He's not sharing enough weed? I don't know. I mean, yeah, Vitruvius might be sure. Okay, so low-key, I think it's Emmett because I, I made their stats and his stats are all terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, like Emmett's, Emmett's got good socials, but his actual com- competition abilities are all, like, trashed here. That sounds about right. So that is Emmett. So I would think Emmett would go home. And I'm only divulging this because there's absolutely nothing else to play off of. Yeah. But Emmett probably. It's not like it anyone decided to make an alliance or anything. Yeah. It's not like they're good at the game. I, I would just say alternatively, I think bad cop would naturally be angry towards Vitruvius for his copious amounts of weed. Oh, of course. But he thinks Spaceman Benny's high on LSD, so he's having trouble figuring out what's going on. (laughs) I mean, is he wrong? No. And like he knows Wild Style has some E somewhere. She's a raver. Mm -hmm. She's got to have E somewhere. Anyway, first vote Vitruvius, Iron Beard, Vitruvius, Vitruvius. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, Vitruvius went home, whoever said that. Was wasn't it. sharing his weed. I called it. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> They're upset about that. First rule, share the weed, man. Bad cop now, wins, guys. Second now, rule, pay off the cops. Without Gandalf, they have no hope of stopping Sauron. <laughs> That's true. Oh, no. And yeah, Sauron definitely implanted that plan into the other tribe. Oh, no, the sauron Hawk alliance can continue. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm all aboard Team Tony Hawk. Let's, uh, kick flip our way to victory so we are doing an edge of extinction season which means the characters can win their way back into the game except instead of the edge of extinction it's the toy bin so <laughs> very toy story four of you huh how very toy story four of you i haven't seen it yet oh well you should you should take some xanax and sit down with it sometime <laughs> okay i appreciate the that I should take antidepressants beforehand. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, Toe Wenau, or Brown Bionicle, <clears throat> finds the hidden immunity idol, which, um, as you guys know, as the Toa of Earth, he is uh, set in the ways of his past, as the Wikipedia article dictates, and obviously has powers of mind control. Uh, as oh. Okay. Okay. How is that connected? 
You know, I don't fucking know, and I don't understand. The Toa powers make no goddamn sense. Like, yeah, sounds... it's yeah. terrible. As Pocketman says, Gen 2 Bionicle is a giant soap opera. Thank you. At it's least the first one made sense where the brown one was like, you have earth powers. Red one had fire powers. It was very simple and clean. See, that would be cool. But no, fucking mind control. All right, then. Also, like, the well, only aspect of his character I remember from the film is they're like, oh, we should collect the discs. And he's like, I'm not going to do it for you guys. So he has a one want, loyalty, and that's all I remember about him. They wanted mega evolutions, but didn't want to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> so they dynamaxed him instead. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, he, he has the idol. Since he has mind control powers, I assume he just convinced production to give it to him. And they did. <clears throat> And then, um, yeah, there, there are alliances. Uh, Bricksburg Ironbeard finds the idol. Good man. Who's rooting for Ironbeard? Andrew? I am. Andrew, I... how'd Ironbeard get the idol? I mean, he hid it in his beard. He just brought it to the island. Uh, I mean, I didn't know that was legal, but then again, fucking brown bionicle brainwashed production to give him one, so. Are you sure it wasn't his missing leg? No. No, he's uh, still missing that. Metro Nui wins immunity again. Okay, good. I'm so, glad. So Bricksburg is going back to tribal council. <laughs> so on Metro Nui, uh, Toa, Nokama, and Waluigi Onicle find something in common. Now, Blake, Andrew, as the two of you could probably guess based on Blue Bionicle's pose, yes, she's a girl. <clears throat> I did notice that sexist renditioning of her, yes. Yes, uh, she is the girl. And because of that, she is the generally um, socially capable, emotionally intelligent, physically able character within the group. While everyone else sucks, she holds them together because that is the role of the girl. So she's naturally drawn to Waluigi, is what you're saying. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) Also, uh, apparently she was a school teacher before becoming a Toa, which was not covered in the movie, to my knowledge, can, can but is covered to... in the Wikipedia article and is the only thing about her that exists. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. This brings up an important part. How do they reproduce? Uh, as Sam told me in the middle of the movie, Bionicles and I quote, don't fuck. So. <laughs> so are they asexual? Do they have eggs? I was pretty sure they I... just find them underground and that's how they reproduce. Is there like an Probably. instruction animal that falls on their lap and then they assemble a new child? I'm mean, going to be honest. I don't know what a bionicle is. I don't know how they're created. I don't understand anything about it. Sam was trying to convince me that it's the masks that matter, but then the masks didn't matter. So I just, you know. So apparently I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, masks but matter to be general. fair, Sam, like I get how you got there. <laughs> the masks are supposed to be important. Um, so, yeah, I don't understand anything, but uh, apparently there are children in that world. I I don't fucking know. So, Is it just like so? And then like all of the monsters look like discarded weapons pieces that the Lego company threw together and sent. Oh, here's an enemy. Yeah, so uh, so do you think they it. have a good head start program? No. OK, Blake. <laughs> Uh, if you ever have children, I do not recommend sending them to Bionicle school districts. <laughs> yeah, it's probably atrocious. Anyway, yeah, so she she's draw, uh, drawn to Waluigi Onicle because she's a complete independent person and he's fucking Waluigi. <laughs> Anyone with any amount of brain should be attracted to Waluigi. I mean, <laughs> he's the embodiment of sex appeal. And then... Uh, Black Bionicle is impressing the rest of the team. I think they're like, hey, you look green. And he's like, I know, but I'm on the Black Bionicle. And they're like, wow. Now, I don't remember what his powers are. Sam, do you? Being misnamed. His power is being mislabeled. (laughs) No, that's just like the lighting. It's weird. Um, So all I remember about him is he he pit him and White Bionicle. No, wait, he breaks up a fight between White Bionicle and Brown Bionicle. I think he's canonically a minor. And so, yeah, that's it. You can see in the dark. I don't sure. I don't fucking know, man. So I just want to point out you saying it's the lighting is like somebody saying they're just big boned. 
It's let's just be honest. They mislabeled the bionicle. <laughs> okay. We get it, Blake, Blake, Blake. So are you just big boned? Oh, oh, yes, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully Pocket Man has stopped listening and will never listen to us again. No, he's still here. That's a mistake. Anyway, we have a new alliance between Green Bionicle and Red Bionicle with a loyalty of two. Oh, good. So they hate each other. So, uh... Green Bionicle's like, you turn invisible. Why don't you have firepower? I mean, he does have a gun thing. He shoots discs. Uh, I don't I don't know what to call this alliance, so I'm just not going to name it and hope it goes away. Does that sound good to everyone yeah, else? Yeah, that's, that's my strategy on the entire alliance. All of the Bionicles. I just hope they go away. I did actively try to make them worse after I started everything out. Thank you. <laughs> it Max. did not work. Appreciate it. So, on Bricksburg, Bad Cop and Ironbeard have a small fight. Well, because Bad Cop is authority and Ironbeard is a pirate, so he's downloading a lot of illegal movies. And Bad Cop's not okay with that. <laughs> so, so Bad Cop caught him torrenting season six, episode three of Suits. No, he caught him torrenting the third Bionicle movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. If anybody sued someone over them torrenting the third Bionicle movie, I'd just so be that's happy why it's someone's small watching it. Uh, Lego uh, Batman and Princess Unikitty Princess. bond strongly. They both have pointy ends and ears. I don't know. Checks out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would I would say there's probably some like happy go lucky death metal that Princess Unikitty might listen to that she shared with Lego Batman. I well, think if... that Batman saw an episode yeah. of Arrow and realized that he could have his base under a cool raver. <laughs> um, <laughs> and as a result, befriended Princess Unikitty. So yeah. he thinks Unikitty yeah. has a rave lair that he can build a lair under. He's yes. like. I also want to be a terrible business owner and have everyone love me and give me companies too. Checks out. Anyway, who who goes home from Bricksburg? Lord Business. Uh, Emmett. I'm, I'm gonna say Emmett again. I'm gonna say Lord the Business because nobody wants to. Bad okay, so. I'm going to go with Wildstyle because I don't think she's done anything yet. <laughs> to be fair, neither is Spaceman <laughs> Benny, but no one's saying it's his true. name. But I like Spaceman Benny <laughs> more true. than I like Wildstyle. I mean, I Not don't that I dislike Wildstyle. I mean, that's because Wildstyle has to be the only competent person in the movie because she is the girl. And that is how movies work, because. Yeah, movies are fucked. I'm. Can, can we all like, agree how like fucked it is that in basically every film that has like one female character, she has to be the only sane person? Yeah. 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 Lacuna Craft, don't worry, we've all been there. Hey, you know what, Max? You've got a great point. Misogyny's terrible and patriarchy sucks. Let's move on. Come on. Okay. I yeah, I know. I'm making I'm making really brave statements here. We'll move on when I can get my mouse pad to move slightly because it's uncomfortable where it's at. I did That's it. That's fine. Agree, Lord Business is going home. So. Benny, bad cop, bad cop, bad cop, Benny, whatever. Fucking bad cop goes home in a 6 2 vote. Hey, Just, Cab. Sh shouldn't have fought like... over Torning. <laughs> Sam's Just right. Hey, Cab, motherfucker. Cop going home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bad cop was joined in his vote by Wild Style. Uh, that doesn't sound good for us. Because she's into bad boys. Because <laughs> she's into people who you know, he is that bad in out. his name. <laughs> Wait, does that mean that she's like that friend of yours, Max? Yeah, probably. Oh, God. Who bakes when we're trying to play board games and is really loud? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Who always is cooking while we're making playing online board games, so we always just hear her cooking. And then she just she's like, oh, Black Lives Matter, but also cops can shoot protesters. That's fine. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, cool. That's that's that, reasonable. Uh, that, does, that that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. You know, as as long as as long as the boot is pretty enough. Oh boy. 
All right. Well, we have the two Legos in the toy bin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Two Legos, okay. in, two Legos and, uh, in the toy we bin. We actually is... have some alliances. And so still the no good alliances. news, uh, Bricksburg only wins a reward. Oh. They, they, they are given the choice of either chickens or a tarp and some chairs. Then they pick a tarp and some chairs. Which I mean, obviously, fair, they're builders. Yeah, I was going to say, which, to be fair, they're builders. They can make yeah. it work. They just need to build some coffee. Yeah. And then Bionicles win the immunity challenge. God damn. Bricksburg <laughs> getting <laughs> fucked. God damn Tony Hawk. <laughs> it's got to be. He's carrying it. So uh, He's just grinding those last 30 seconds before the time runs out. Hey, that's how you get your points. You you grind, jump, ollie, grind for those multipliers. It's important. I'm Steve. I'm not I'm not stuck in the Tony Hawk remastered because I don't know how to score more than like a hundred thousand points in a run. I swear. No, no, Never. of course not, of course not. Anyway, yeah. so so blue Bionicle and green Bionicle find something in common. Canonically, both- it would probably be the yeah. fact that they're sick of dealing with red Bionicle shit. I think it's that they're both plastic and they both realize that none of the Legos consider them Legos. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're an asshole about it. Well, I am. And then uh, Black and Red Bionicle have a major fight, which I don't think proves well for Rakdos going forward. Well, it's because I think what happened is Red Bionicle was like, well, you're green. And Black Bionicle was like, well, I'm black. And he was like, that's confusing. (laughs) Checks out. I'm not letting this go. So on Bricksburg, uh, Emmett is impressing the rest of the team. He built the triple decker couch, guys. No. No. Oh. <sighs> that much power can't be contained. And, and everybody came to the conclusion that it was indeed an amazing idea. Who allowed him to have Legos on that island? He, he was comfort, comfort items. items. Man. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So who goes home? Uh, <sighs> Ford business. I, I think I think uh, it's going to be Spaceman Benny. I unfortunately agree. Wild style, because she voted against the team. Maybe. Okay. So uh, Ironbeard uses his hidden immunity idol and received zero votes. Good, First good vote play. is Emmett. Lego Batman okay Emmett. Okay, Emmett's voted out six to one, no. which is Damn. like the one time we finally gave up on Emmett. <laughs> <laughs> Going home, he goes I home. That, I guess that triple triple decker couch was not big enough. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean he could really only fit six people on it, and now there are only six of them left, so they can finally all fit on the couch. Well, you know what it really was. It was just that. Lit- the Lego movie two just wasn't that good. And they're still bitter over it. I agree with that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Which also leads to why are we putting Sauron on the Bionicle team when he was in a, in the uh, Lego Batman movie, but. Because Bionicles are cancer and they need to have a proper avatar. Yeah, I think also, the answer is I didn't watch the Lego Batman movie and could not remind you of such a fact. Sam, we we saw it in theaters together. I did not watch Lego Batman. Oh, OK, I saw I, it with I, Joe I mean, in theaters. I thought you were there. No, I was not. OK, maybe yeah, I just... missed Lego Batman as well. I only watched the second Lego movie. It's the first. it's fine. Yeah, I think it it's commits fine. to its joke a little too hard. I, I will... enjoy how they keep referencing in the second movie. I, I will say if you're a, like a hardcore Batman fan, there's a lot of jokes in there that'll make you satisfied. But I don't know if it was worth making a feature film for those jokes. <laughs> I just I, I, I mean, think I think they committed too hard to the Sauron gambit. So like the Star Wars Christmas special, but Lego edition. No, it's much better than that. I have not seen the Star Wars, though. There is a Lego Star Wars Christmas special now. Yeah, it just came out like a day ago. Yeah. Haven't seen it. Would you? I I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I don't I think pro- that's. I'm allowed. pretty sure that's a trap. I probably will because I hate myself. I also hate that's myself, fair. but Blake, we'll stream it. Yeah. Together. I kind of want to know if they make references to the actual Lego. You know, who cares? The actual we're, we're at the we're at the swap. Let's okay. 
and the Lego tribes just getting fucking ransacked. So our new tribes are Metra Nui, which is Black Green Bionicle, Lord Business, Red Bionicle, White Bionicle, and Wild Style. Okay, I don't like that alliance very much. Then we have Brickburg, which is Brown Bionicle, Green Bionicle, Lego Batman, Princess Unikitty, and Waluigi Onicle. I like oh, that one a bit better. And Playmobile, which is Blue Bionicle, Iron Beard, Sauron, Spaceman Benny, and Tony fucking Hawk. Okay. I like this alliance a lot better. To I feel like there are no teams where the Legos will survive. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be bad for Legos. Two, two things real fast. One... I love Playmobiles to death, and now I'm sad. But two, um, for the first alliance, can we call it your these, dad's girlfriend? These, these aren't alliances. Little... They are tribes. Fine. The can, new we tribes. Call the, can we call the new tribe your dad's new girlfriend? Because Lord Business and Wild Style are on the same, on the same team. <laughs> Still? Maybe. We'll consider it. <laughs> See, Bricksburg has one immunity idol, and uh, that's oh, and on the Playmobil tribe, Blue Bionicle finds a hidden immunity idol, probably because she, you know, figured out to look for it and wasn't an idiot. And also, um, the Water Bionicle does have control over water. It's the only wow. one that made sense. I don't remember if she got other powers, but weirdly logical. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that allowed? She's the only no. one that makes sense. <laughs> she might have had other powers. I honestly cannot remember. Like her, her and Black Bionicle, I couldn't keep track of what they could do. So Bricksburg wins immunity and uh, Metro Nui. So you're what? Your dad's new girlfriend. I think I know what Black Bionicle did. What did he do? I think I think it was the one that could talk to animals. One of them could talk to animals. Yeah. That's so pointless. Controlling the animals, yeah. <laughs> no, that was Green Bionicle. Ah, oh, shit. I thought he was the Transformer. He could oh, do well. both. No, no, then it would have been Brown. Brown, Brown <laughs> could mind control. That might be why he was able to control the animals. Yeah. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Is Blue Bionicle? It was Blue? Shit, okay. Yeah, that okay. tracks. Thank, thank you. Why do you fucking know that? Why did I fucking watch? <laughs> so Max, I think I know why these two bond. Why? If you look at the shape of his hat, it's very uh -huh. similar to the shape of his gun. Mm. <laughs> so wait, are you trying to imply that Red Bionicle tried to pick up Lord Business and attach him as a new gun? Yes. <laughs> and Lord Business was like, this is cool. Yeah, he's just like, I'm all for guns. I like weapons. He, like, showed his NRA license. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Red Bionicle and White Bionicle have a small fight. Um, Blake, do, do you think this has anything to do with um, that recent Supreme Court case about Oklahoma and tribal land? Oh, absolutely. White Bionicle was like, what the fuck do you mean they have sovereignty over our decisions? We will keep Oklahoma, damn it. Like, this is this is full-on territorial rage. Yeah, no, I mean, to be fair, I, I wouldn't miss if we lost Oklahoma. No one would. They should take it back. I mean, Andrew Jackson would be fine with this. They That's should what take Oklahoma it back. Was for. The official stance of this, of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back Andrew Jackson to lead him to liberate Oklahoma for the natives. That's a weird turn in history. Hey, man. So it was uh, when when we did one of my playtests of my Republican primaries game, that's that was I was cloned to Andrew Jackson and I kept trying to deport everyone to Oklahoma. Boy. And I refused to campaign in Iowa because I didn't recognize it as United States territory. It was a good game. It I makes, won. Makes sense. And that's why it was a good game, because I won. Um, anyway. No, nothing happens on, <sighs> on Playmobil. Iron Beard and Tony Hawk have a small fight. I don't know. Do you try to grind on Iron Beard's beard? Pocket Man, why would you waterboard yourself? Okay. So, Pocket Man 
watch the second Bionicle movie today alone. And I'm just... I'm so sorry you did that. Oh, Pocket Man. Why would you do this? I really hope that your life gets better. Because (laughs) doing that to yourself is not... That's very 2020 of you, and we don't need more 2020 in our lives. Yeah, we don't. Just, we don't. I'm distraught. Um, but yeah, I, so Iron Beard's getting fucked over by Tony Hawk, which is bad because remember, um, they're, they're the tribe going to council. Hey, yeah. You know? Hey, fun fact Playmobil became a viable toy because it demanded less petroleum during the. Arab uh, oil embargo. Really? Yeah. It was also a product of Germany and currently has a lovely Back to the Future car. Um, is that a fun fact or a sad fact? It's a sad fact, but now I'm on the Playmobil website because of you. So. I mean, you're, you're welcome? There's so many accessories. Wait, there's a Playmobil movie? <laughs> There's a Playmobil Back to the Future toy, and it has so many accessories. Who's going home? That's how you get them. Iron Beard. Uh, Probably Iron Beard. It's probably Iron Beard, but I don't want it to be Iron Beard, so I'm going to say Blue Bionicle. We have the mystery machine. Blue Bionicle has an idol. I don't think she's going anywhere. Yeah, I can dream, though. You can. Dream of Blue Bionicle. Slowly undressing. God, Mm. no. That's some connection. She takes her leg off. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just throws it out of the bed. I'm trying to be sexy for you. <laughs> Send help. All right. Well, now I need to go I, rub soap on my brain. <laughs> right, I'm going to take a shower. A cold. First vote Sauron. Second shower. vote Spaceman Benny. Sauron Benny. No. Benny Love goes home, Benny. guys. Space yeah, man. Benny. But spaceship. Well, we'll space shoot him into ship. space. So uh, he didn't have a spaceship. Sorry about that, everybody. Spaceman Benny has gone the way of the. I don't know whatever any of the animals from the planet. Any of his Hitler Lego sets? Huh? Any of his Lego sets? Yeah, this is just. Like, Bionicles are just routing Legos left and right here today. Well, it's a good, accurate representation of 2001 or whenever these things came out. 2003. Yeah, 2003. Um, so none of that shit matters. Okay, so... I just nothing's fucking happening. In Bricksburg, Lego Batman finds an idol. Okay, <laughs> go Batman. So Lego Batman and Brown Bionicle now have idols, which is really the only thing that can save any of the uh, actual Lego movie characters. Yeah, this is true. Um, (laughs) And then we have a challenge where they win rewards. They get sandwiches. And and milk and Waluigi Onicle. I don't know. Do do you think how, how does Waluigi Onicle like consume milk because I feel like it'd be weird. Chugs it. Get no tubes. Tubes where the where the lubricant goes. Uh, I figure. I figure like Waluigi Onico could just put his hand in the milk and drink it through his hand or something. I don't know. It just seems. No, I feel it, like he should have some eldritch powers. No, it's just tubes. He is a he's a pneumatic mechanism. So he just pours it on himself like oil, and yeah, then it's just it's, gone. It's just powering him. Oh, it's allowing he's him powered to move. by milk. He's powered by milk. It Does that make him a white milk. nationalist? That yes, without arthritis. So wait, Blake. Yes. You're claiming that Waluigi Onigal is a yeah. white nationalist. That would be correct. Guys, I don't no, know if I can handle that. Right, well, whether you can handle it or not, it's true. I'm upset. I'm upset. So is his family. We tried to stage an intervention, but he kept he kept spouting things about people that wasn't right. So we had to kick him out. Okay. So so uh, the Metro Nui tribe is going to tribal council. <laughs> You've ruined Waluigi Onical for chat, Blake. <laughs> I mean, 
hey, let's be clear, I'm real glad that our chat hey, was ruined. By hey, that. Pocket Man, if this is what broke the camel's back for you, you need to reassess your life's choices. Oh my no, God. Here's the real thing. What I appreciate is we do a Bionicle season and Pocket Man picks the one Bionicle that's not a real Bionicle. <laughs> this is true. Which, yeah, it, it's Pocket Man's fault. Yeah, this is your fault. And Lacuna Craft, I don't think Stormfront's a current one. I think they shut down Stormfront. So Waluigi on Onicle couldn't be the owner of that. You'd have to be the or owner of like eight Coon or something. But that's a uh, noted actual he, Q, Jim Watkins. He's actually got a pretty big following on Parlor. <laughs> yeah, Waluigi Onicle owns Parlor. <laughs> which Blake has an unhealthy obsession with. It's just, it's fascinating. What kind of awful is on that, like, is on that platform? I don't know. Make an account and find out for us. I'm not willing to. Okay. Not without a VPN. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this episode brought to you by Nord VPN. I'm kidding. No one would ever sponsor us. <laughs> Parlor. <what? laughs> Listen, uh, Nord VPN is bad and a scam until they give us money, at which point they will be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Lacuna Craft, I'm sorry you went to Stormfront. Are you going to be okay? So, Lord Business and Red Bionicle have a fight. Do you think Do you think Red Bionicle shot Lord Business and he realized he didn't actually want to be ammo? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Established. Lord Business likes to be likes to use people. He doesn't like to be used. Mm -hmm. And then uh White Bionicle leaves the big alliance. Yeah, because he's a white nationalist and he can't handle working in a group. I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of different colors there. Yeah. And as much as he loved Sauron. And then we have a new alliance, which is Lord Business. And <laughs> <laughs> so Lord Business is Trump? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the MAGA alliance. Or or he's just like a some NRA executive. No, no, this is Def this is Def the MAGA Alliance. Yeah, this makes total sense. Really. <laughs> See, well, Luigi's not in here, so he's not a white supremacist. Yeah, they, they kicked him out. In Bricksburg, uh, Brown Bionicle and Unikitty have a major fight. Now, because yeah, they called each other abominations. I mean, to be fair, Brown Bionicle is the same color as evil Unikitty, so that might have been it. Could be. I don't know hard and then on playmobile nothing fucking happens so we're in metro Nui. i have good news yeah white bionicle has abandoned his friends and joined lord business so the oh good news God. is we might not lose a bionicle we might not lose another lego character this time it, uh, it depends if wild styles actually a, his side chick or not yeah um the bad news is, yeah, we'll lose. Like, the only reason Lego would be saved is because of white nationalism. Look in a craft that would describe, explain his sense of fashion. What, that Lord Business is the Grand Imperial Wizard? Yeah. He's the exalted Cyclops. Uh, so I think, I think, uh, I think Red Bionicle is going home, though. No, no, no. They gotta vote for Black Bionicle because they're white supremacists. Yeah, but White Bionicle and Red Bionicle, like, sorry, Lord Business and Red Bionicle just had a fight. Ooh, this is fair. Yeah, they need to take the land. Mm -hmm. This is just, this is like a dark episode. You know, without Donald, yeah. I thought we'd be a little less political. We, we had not, to get here at some point. Working out. Nah, we had the politics within us all along. Yeah, oh sorry, like, Andrew. It's not a great thing. Well, well, we still love you, Andrew. First vote, it's white available. bionicle. Okay. Black bionicle, black bionicle, white bionicle. And the next character to go home is white bionicle. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, the side chick it. decided not to go with Joe the white Biden wins. <laughs> 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 Gotta get rid of them. White Biden wins Georgia, guys. White Bionicle down. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. <laughs> well, we didn't lose another Lego. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, they they survived for once. So uh, they were uh, definitely dropping like flies. Yeah, they they were falling apart, much like a bionicle would. <laughs> Just hitting buttons, and it's so much fun. Yeah, hit them buttons harder, hit man. Hit them buttons. We have a reward challenge. No one gives a shit about reward challenges. Damn straight. We have an immunity challenge. Bricksburg wins, so uh, all all of them are making it. Ooh. And then that means the other two tribes are going to go to tribal council together as one group. Okay. It's, it's going to be hilarious. That doesn't sound good for Lego. It doesn't. So Lord Business and Wild Style have reconnected. Okay, and, after that failed vote. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but what's important here is Lord Business has, you know, mended, he, he's learning the air of his ways. And he has a cool new reality show where he hosts that's, I don't know, The Bachelor 2 and Wild Style's all on board. Yeah, that's all. Or whatever her rave bachelor. I don't fucking know. So so I'm on the Lego website and I want to know why you didn't include Onua, Uniter of Earth. Um, because he wasn't in the Lego Metro, the Bionicle 2 Legends of Metronui film. But but Max, Bionicles at some point just essentially became Zords from Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's the same reason I didn't include the one Pocket Man explicitly said, hey, it'd be cool if you include this. And it's because that involved a lot more research than I felt like putting in. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Lord knows we weren't going to help you. Yeah. That was, uh, you know, the worst day I've ever. Yeah, did I do something to make that day better? Oh, I made cookies. Or Puhatu. Oh, wait, no, I made, stone. yeah, I made, I made cookies that day. That's what made everything better. I Fish onical. Mm. There's a lot of uniter creatures. Yeah, just I, I don't even know, man. Oh yeah, Black Bionicle leaves the Big Alliance. That happened. Because yeah. he's green and he's tired of them calling him black. So, we have a united tribe, kind of. Can they vote for black? Because I think they're going to. They could, yeah. So Black Bionicle has abandoned Blue Bionicle, Sauron, Tony Hawk, and Red Bionicle. And Lord Business gonna go and Wild Style have connected in an alliance. I really hope this is the end of Black Bionicle, just because I'm really sick of you guys correcting the color on this. <laughs> no, it's it's the best joke we have. I mean, with White Bionicle gone. No, the best joke we have is Red Bionicle constantly trying to use Lord Business as a weapon. That is true. Followed but closely I, by the Sauron Tony Hawk alliance. I will just keep bringing up the lack of color every time, even if he gets voted off. Okay. Anyway, so I, I'm going to say Black Bionicle goes home. I'm going to say Lord Business goes home because I have no reason to. It's just what I've committed to. Okay. Any others? I'm going to say Sauron. Okay. Andrew? Black do you have Bionicle. a name you want to say? I like it. First vote, Tony Hawk. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's splitting votes. Lord Business. Lord Business, Tony Hawk, Lord Business. Lord Business is going to go home in a 6-2 vote. Whew. As long as it's not Tony Hawk. Well, well I mean, scared. they got the... Wait, they wait, can... wait, wait, Max, are you saying I was right? Yeah. Okay, well, wow. I mean, we had to get rid of Trump. Yeah. Wow. I just... I've never been right at one of these before. I'm, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I think I think I'm going to have to go write my journal. So. <laughs> so now the six of them are going to compete to see who comes back into the game. And I personally hope it's Spaceman Benny. I really hope so, too. I the hope cop would also be. Excited. I mean, unfortunately, you know, it's going to be white bionicle. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. <laughs> oh, the no. clan always <laughs> comes back. They never they stay dead. They just become police officers and firefighters. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, no, just mostly police officers. Yeah. 
but they need Gandalf to stop Sauron. <laughs> they do. You know, to be fair, what did Gandalf ever do that the stupid eagles couldn't have done themselves? You, you can't trust the eagles. I think that was <laughs> Sam. Did, at one point in the movie, didn't you explicitly say, and that's why they don't use the eagles? <laughs> yeah, it's because Lala started spewing out and attacking the flying creatures that they had with them. OK, and it was like, yeah, the, the, this is why they couldn't bring the eagles. to Mount Yeah, <laughs> it's very important. Like legend, legends and Metro Nui, too. Like, yeah, man, there's a lot of shit going on in that film. It's like a solid 10 minutes of exposition. For a 75 minute movie. I still refuse to watch this no matter how hard you try to sell it. Um, if that <laughs> kills us trying it. to sell it. <laughs> so Vitruvius penalizes bad cop. Good. Yeah, a cab. And Lord them. Business <laughs> returns to the game. No. Jesus. So he's refusing to concede the election. Yeah, Trump <laughs> yeah. 2024 is happening, boys. Oh, oh. oh. It's no, okay. he'll die of COVID first. Hopefully, no, he, he won't. Unfortunately, you know, I mean, Trump Jr. has it. We're gonna see if cocaine cures coronavirus. <laughs> oh God, it does it yeah. does? That's what my dealer keeps telling me. I need me my powder. <laughs> I could hear you snort from the other room, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, uh, we're now the foot injury tribe. Because that's what happens when you step on Legos. Yeah, that it is. That's true. <laughs> and Blue Bionicle has an idol. Brown Bionicle has an idol. And Lego Batman has an idol. Our alliances are... What were we fucking calling this one? Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, rocket Power. Okay, Rocket Power Alliance. Rocket power. <laughs> we have Rocket Power. We have Captain Sauron. Oh, Rocket Power needs to be in a season of this. Eventually. Rocket Power versus yeah. Rugrats. Versus what? Rugrats. <laughs> that I makes mean... no fucking sense. It's perfect. Oh, because this makes total sense. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, have, did, Max? we have Rocket Power. We have Captain Sauron. And we have uh, Grull is red green, right, Andrew? <laughs> Gruel, yeah. Gruel. And we have Gruel. That's what I'm calling these boys. Loyalty one. How is that still an alliance? You know, it happens sometimes. I, I've never I, I don't think we've ever seen an alliance with both at one. We I, have. I think I think we should call them colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> that are Christmas colors. I, I, I like colorblind more. I, I liked the idea of using the Pokemon I the uh magic gathering like compos, but yeah, fucking colorblind yeah. works here. So Wild Style wins immunity. It's called Audio Slave. That makes sense. She's she's punk rock and can yeah. sing. Everything is awesome. This checks out. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything isn't awesome. I mean, when when you're in the real world, it isn't. That's true. Yeah. Everything is cool when you give into Grood. What? <laughs> I don't know. Everything is awful. I don't have any more lyrics to the song. <laughs> so uh, I do, but I don't want to advocate for suicide. It's true. We we have some dark recreations of that. Anyway, Black Bionicle and Brown Bionicle find something in common. I swear to God, you guys, if you make another Both fucking... pieces of shit. OK, cool. Checks out. <laughs> Let's go. They're both fundamentally misunderstood, given that Brown Bionicle has the powers of mind control for no earthly reason, and Black Bionicle is fat green. Blake, I'm going to kick you out of this fucking call. But you can't kick me out of my life. So, colorblind, Sam, the colorblind alliance has dissolved. Does that mean that you're no longer <laughs> colorblind? Uh, yeah, I'm cured. Okay, Makes thank sense. God. I don't, I don't have to fix my board game so you can play it without being able to differentiate colors now yeah totally hooray yep so who goes home uh me me <laughs> Sam, you're already home shit you're right uh, fine go outside real quick yeah i i think it might be lord business again but 
Lord, I'm gonna say Red Bionicle for absolutely no reason. Lord, you know what? I think it's gonna be Black Bionicle because he's tired of being mislabeled. <laughs> I mean, if you were green, you would die, Blake. I'm just saying. I think he's tired of being mislabeled. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna vote for Sauron. We really need to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, but they won't. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna ignore him and hope he goes away, and then he's gonna take over the world. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like global warming. Yeah, I mean he he is a giant flaming eye, so he is he is contributing carbon emissions. So yeah, but I agree with Chad. Hopefully, Lord Business does go because then Trump can stop you know suing elections boards. Nah, I don't I don't think he'll ever stop. No, he no. won't. He's gonna be suing those like posthumously. And at some point, he's going to figure out a way to make money from them. So, mm -hmm. oh, he already is because none of the like very little of the actual donations go to legal fund. It mostly goes to the RNC or paying off his campaign debt. He's going to write it all off on his taxes. Yeah, of course. Anyway, no one uses an idol. First vote, Sauron. Ooh. Mm. Lord business. Ooh. I don't know which one's more evil. I'm going to be honest. I mean, Lord, Lord, I mean, they might be both the same character. That's true. I mean, OK, if Lord Business is Donald Trump in the March of Fascism, mm -hmm. then Sauron is global warming. And All Tom right. Cotton rolled into the same person. And they both <laughs> contribute to global warming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Sauron, Lord Business, Lord Business. Lord Business goes home in 11-2 vote. Bye, Trump. Get the shit out of Fuck here. Fuck you. 2018 kicked your ass. 2020 kicked your ass. That's tr untrue. We narrowly won. Yeah. Let's yeah. not get too excited. I won't. I'm still fucked up. John Ossoff and Warnock save us. They won't. They won't. Anyway. They won't. They won't. Because Warnock's getting attacked for not being the right kind of Christian, i.e., black Christian. A shocker. And they're photoshopping images of John Ossoff to increase the size of his nose because he's Jewish. And wow, aren't Republicans great people? Uh, nope. And no one's surprised. That's why I stand. I stand by all Republicans are bastards. Which yep. we are not going to turn into a uh, an acronym. No, yeah, we're right? not using the acronym. The acronym is bad, but the statement is true. So, like we were saying, we're sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> no, we're not. NordVPN is a scam, and it's malware unless they sponsor us. You're right. Exactly. Brought to you by Parlor. <laughs> want want to say mean things on the internet without any? Um, responsibility. Go anywhere or parlor. <laughs> In parlor, we pay you to use slurs. Is that is that a good good parlor bit? I think so. Yeah, that's why um they love I don't know Paul Joseph Watson so much. They just every every time he says soy boy, he gets a dollar. So, uh, yeah, Lord Business is back on the I island. He gives an extra vote to Tony Hawk, but that doesn't do anything, which is frustrating. So uh, Black Bionicle finds an idol. Oh, God, that makes him magenta. <laughs> so three Bionicles and Lego Batman have an idol. Walk into a bar. Yes. This is just. Guys, the Bionicles are running this shit. Yeah. Sad. It really is. Yeah. They know that they're not going to get renewed for another season, so they really need to do well this time. So they're just trying to take out the Lego movie. They're like, well, you know, if there aren't any Lego movie characters left, we're all you've got. Okay. Time for Legends of Metronui 3. Oh, no, please. That would be the worst ending to 2020. <laughs> No, there are worse. Isn't there already a Metronui 3? Yeah, there is. Uh, Sauron wins immunity. 
Guys, why is there an upside down Lego playset? What? <laughs> there is a playset from from Stranger Things. That is the upside down. Why? Yes. Mm-hmm. I miss money. when Lego had enough money that they didn't need to do brand deals. I mean, they do. I, I, I've been doing some reading. They do. They just. No, no, like they do money. now. They used this to not do so brand much. deals because they made enough money that they didn't need to do that. And then no, um, it's not that they don't make enough money now. It's that brand deals are so fucking lucrative. No, they, they are there. But what happened was that when they did, you remember the Lego like robotics and Mindstorm stuff from like the late 90s, early aughts? Yes, the reason I love math, go on. Yeah, they sold those at a loss because they had no idea how much they actually cost to make them. So they lost an insane amount of money on like the Lego robotics and shit. So because of that, they had to do like the Bionicles and the brand deals to get themselves out of the hole because like they'd been using basically arbitrary prices for all of their shit and it had just been working out. <laughs> It's pretty great. Yeah. And then and then they're like, oh, wait. These parts are expensive. We're selling these at a loss, guys. Well, I appreciate the fact they did because I really enjoyed my storms. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Black Bionicle and Waluigi Onicle have a major fight. I mean, obviously, Waluigi Onicle called him a racial slur. Yeah, no, Black Bionicle just was feeling a little emasculated. He just couldn't stack up to Waluigi. I like Andrew more. I'm trying to fight. I don't want Waluigi Onicle to be a white supremacist. because That's like half the cast at this fucking point. I kind of agree. I think what happened is Waluigi confuses Black Bionicle because he's like, but wait, you have a name and it's not based on your color. Yeah, (laughs) that too. Also, I'm magenta, not black. (laughs) Blake, I'm going to ignore all of your color theories. I thought Um, he was crimson. Brown Bionicle impresses the rest of the turquoise. Blake, I'm going to make you fucking colorblind. (laughs) Maybe you want to come over here? I'll give you the COVID. Finally, my dream. Not worth it, Max. Huh? Not worth it. Yeah, it it's worth it. <sighs> Brown Bionicle's impressing the rest of the team. What's he do besides mind control all of them into liking him? He was labeled correctly. <laughs> what? <laughs> or he just mind controlled him. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thank uh. you. And then uh. Uh, Red Bionicle and Sauron have a small fight. Blake... They're- they're both red and they don't get <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Either they're both red or well, red bionicle looked at the eye and went, oh, I bet I could shoot that like a disc. So they were both really so, had crushes on Wheeler from Captain Planet. And they both sent fan letters to him when he was a big deal in the early 90s. And they both got rejected hard. As a, an American Indian, red bionicle is very upset the environment is being destroyed and is therefore mad at global warming, a.k.a. Sauron. That's logical. Yeah. Because Sauron opened up a new oil refinery in Oklahoma, so... Yeah. He actually just owns BP and Exxon. Yeah. 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 So who's going home? Sauron. It's not. Sauron has immunity. It's turquoise bionicle. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. He has he has an idol, but also his strategy score is like one, so he could misplay it. Now he's gonna use it on green bionicle, thinking it was him. <laughs> I, I think it's wild style. I honestly have no idea. Checks out. I'm gonna go with Princess Unikitty. That way, I'm not picking somebody that somebody else is picking. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so, Andrew, you were rooting for Spaceman Benny initially, right? No, no. I was for Ironbeard. Okay. Blake, you were. who were you rooting for again? Lego Batman. Okay, so all of us are still in. 
anyway, the only person who's uh, out is uh, Ready Craft. Woman versus Cheetah playset. Yeah, yeah wow. Ch- uh, Ch- so, Ch- so, so uh, Black Bionicle uses his idol. Any votes cast against him don't count. He receives zero votes. God. Beautiful. Nice choice. Yeah. So, uh, Toa Weno, the brown bionicle, because I, I can't pronounce these. These are fake. Don't even words. try. Then Unikitty. Then uh, <laughs> what? Wanua, Unikitty, Unikitty, Wanua, Un. <laughs> Unikitty goes home in an eight four. <laughs> Bionicles are still running the table. Well, Sam did said it. Unikitty, so he's just <laughs> excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah, geez. this was this was an initial tribal lines vote. All of the original Bricksburg voted out Wanua, and all of original Me- Metro Nui voted out Unikitty. So we are down to three Bricksburgians. Iron Beard, Lego Batman, and Wild Style. As they are just getting absolutely massacred. They are. Mm-hmm. Which is sad because we would have preferred this massacre to go the other way. Yeah, that's true. And fucking still two bionicle immunity idols. At least Batman should have a high enough score to use. At his least brain. Tony Hawk won fucking immunity. Oh, diddly. Uh, you're, you're, you're expecting that Lego Batman's stats are similar to real Batman's, and that's a fucking lie. <laughs> it was the belief, but okay. Lego Batman is significantly worse than real Batman. I mean, as any Batman fan should expect, yes. Uh, I, think, I think he has better loyalty. Which is really sad when you think about it. <laughs> oh my god, that is sad. And uh, better social and worse almost everything else. Well, yeah, he eats lobster every day. That guy's not fit. No, he's not. Yeah, no, his his loyalty is higher because remember he abandoned them, but it was all a bluff to steal the the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> and he he accept he acknowledged that Wild Style and Emmett were meant for each other and did let that happened. So I think, I think ultimately he's, I don't know. Much like he, he was more okay with that than real Batman was okay with Rachel Dawes, leaving him for uh two face. Rachel. Where's Rachel? Rachel. Also, I'd like to note, we were going to have Batman and Rachel Dawes in next week for blood versus water, but due to popular demand, we will instead have Dean venture and the draft. Rachel. Sorry. Rachel. 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 Anyway. Rachel. Um, Rachel. <laughs> you okay, get it out of your system? Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> hey, 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 Blake. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Ross. No. <laughs> okay, so Sauron and Waluigi Onical find something in common. They're both peak performance. Oh. Peak sexual performance. Oh, yeah. They like both. It. Flaming balls, Waluigi. The butch thing in common. Of their original selves. They're what? They're both the butchered versions of their original selves. I mean, that is, that is Lego Sauron. That is true. Yes. Okay. Uh, what... Vakama and Wild Style have a minor disagreement. Uh, so Wild Style, um, being a white progressive, started speaking for Red Bionicle's people, and Red Bionicle was not about that. I, I thought I thought she wore a head, a a, tradition, a ceremonial held, headdress to Coachella. Oh God. <laughs> But she started talking to him about her time protesting the Exxon pipeline. No, I'm st- I'm sticking with a uh, ceremonial headdress to Coachella. That's fair. Brown and green bionicle bond slightly. Yeah, that sounds right. Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, see here, moving on. They're, they're both labeled correctly. It makes sense. <laughs> so Tony Hawk has immunity. Who's going home? I think it's Iron Beard. I don't want it to be Iron Beard. I don't want it to be Iron Beard either. I think it's going to be Black Bionicle because again, wild style. Of course. Because the Bionicles I'm, are just still going for him. I'm still going to say Sauron because they really need to deal with that. And, I mean, they do. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. No one uses an idol. First vote. For- Onewa. <sighs> Lego Batman. Oh. Vakama. Okay. 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 That's multiple targets. Three way. Sam, don't say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Onewa, Vakama, Onewa, Onewa. Okay. So uh, right. Black Bionicle's gone in eight, I, two, well, one vote. I was right. That's why you gotta label them properly. Blake, thank you for being right. You're welcome. So Vakama got a vote from Black Bionicle and Green Bionicle. Ooh. And then uh, Iron Beard voted out Lego Batman. <laughs> wow. Iron Beard knows who his enemy really is. So <laughs> we finally lost another Bionicle. Oh, no. I'm so happy. Yeah. This is the best thing we've ever had. Huh? This is the best thing we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, Lord Business gives Sauron Sor- an advantage in the next immunity challenge. Don't know if that'll do anything. But we still have three idols and two alliances in uh, Rocket Power and uh, Captain Sauron. And Sauron wins immunity because, you know, it's fucking Sauron. Checks out. In case you were curious, his stats are five strength, five endurance, five mental, five strategy, one general, one loyalty, one social, one temperament. So he's basically just Eldridge Garfield, but slightly worse. I was going to say, Jesus. Yeah, he's very lopsided. So Ironbeard and Sauron bond slightly. Why would Ironbeard join Sauron? Money. <laughs> Money. Yeah. No, Sauron doesn't have legs. He doesn't. So did they bond over not having legs? I think so. Okay. They're, uh, you know. But Lego Batman and Sauron also bond slightly. Do you think Sauron's just trying to collect all of the Legos to take out the Bionicles? Right. Yeah, might maybe. This is kind of I, upsetting. I figured Iron Beard and Lego Batman were like at least like chaotic neutral at worst. But the, look <laughs> at them siding with, you know, true evil. I think that Lego Batman realized that the Wayne company is largely invested in Exxon Mobil, And <laughs> as a result, he has to uh, front for Sauron a little bit to maintain his Batman gig. So. So, you know, there's another reason, guys, and it's very personal to Batman. Oh. You see, Sauron's mother's name is also Martha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Blake, <laughs> you're unfired. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> And then uh, Sauron gets in a fight with uh, Mattel. Gotta Mattel save Martha. Green Bionicle. Yeah, so he's siding with the Legos over the abomination. Yeah, this of is Tawa. this is him telling Bionicles go fuck himself. So I vote Green yeah. Bionicle goes home. I I I hope this happens. Yes. I I third this. Yes. We're all very <laughs> eager for just anything to change. Yes. <laughs> It's at that point where you're like, good, bad, doesn't matter. Please just happen. No one used an idol. First vote, Vakama. And then Matau. 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 Cool. Green Bionicle goes home nine to one. Guys, we fucking did it. Woo. Get the fuck out of here, you shit. We're finally losing Bionicles. (laughs) Yeah. It's taken so long. But, yeah, Wild Style 
Lego Batman and Ironbeard held out long enough to see the game flip for them. And sure, they had to make a deal with fucking Sauron, but whatever it takes. I mean, they're the Lindsey Graham yeah. thing. Don't say that. What? Don't fucking say that name is banned. The, the yeah. only Lindsey Graham that we are allowed to mention is noted podcaster Lindsey Graham, host of such shows as American hey, History Tellers you, and Wicked. You don't Game. have to explain noted podcast host Lindsey Graham. I he replied that, to one of my tweets once. I, I know, and it still makes me upset. I mean, I've also been retweeted by Harry Anton, so I'm just cooler than you. Like, that's... I mean, that's true. That's how it works. That's true. I gotta try harder in my capital Twitter. Yeah, I got I got Harry Enton to retweet a Harambe meme. Oh, Good job, Max. Thanks. Maybe we could be as cool as you. I miss 2016. <laughs> Do you? I appreciate that I had a uh, Facebook post a couple days ago that was like, can 2020 come faster? And I'm just sitting there, I'm looking at that, I'm like, Oh, how naive I was. Yeah, that was everybody, though. Yeah. Everybody at the end of 2019 was like, will this year end? No, and that was 20- a 2016 post. Oh, well. Yeah, because because we wanted Trump to be over as soon as it could. Yeah. Yeah. We still uh, want it to be over. Yeah. Wake me up when the administration ends. <sighs> it's it's uh, the much better version of Green Day's song. Foot injury. What? Yeah, they're called foot injury because that's what happens when you step on a Lego. Oh, cute. Okay. Thank you. I'm very proud. I liked it. And and chat, thank you for pointing out that I picked the only season where Green Bionicle sucks. Actually, I think Green Bionicle had the second best stats of the Bionicles. Blue was the highest. Shocking. Absolutely nobody. Well, this is actually a little shocking. A Lego won immunity. Wild style, you did it. She had to balance balls on a on a board. <clears throat> Not gonna make any jokes there. You yeah, don't don't do that. Let's just move. So Ironbeard and Waluigi Onicle bond slightly. This makes I think Ironbeard asked Waluigi Onicle if he could use his body, and Waluigi Onicle, while rejecting politely, was flattered. Yeah. 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 Because of course the, the they're they're both really big on the self-improvement bandwagon yeah and then uh vakama leaves the uh rocket power alliance oh good i hope we vote him now and a new alliance forms between vakama and Ironbeard. i still hope we vote vakama <laughs> you're standing by it yep even my boy Ironbeard picked him up but i think the big alliance will shoot him down Okay, so you think Vakam is going home? Yes. Okay. I think they're going to take a shot at Ironbeard. I'm going to be honest. Any other guesses? Uh, I mean, they need to do something about Sauron, but yeah. They I really do. Yeah. They, they won't. <sighs> The only way Sauron goes home if he's, is if he gets idled. Yeah. Okay, so no one uses an idol. First about Sauron. Okay. Vakama. Vakama. Yep. Vakama. Yep. Sauron, Vakama. Vakama goes home 7-2. to two. Hey, almost like I called that vote. Yeah, it, it was pretty obvious, but I, I was, I didn't, it, it seemed too obvious. That's nice coverage on your part. He gets something. You're like, it was almost too obvious. Yeah. But I mean, the good news is, yeah, Ironbeard, Lego Batman, Wild Style still in it. So is our boy, Tony Hawk. Sam, we're still here. Yeah. Yeah. He's a writer. I mean, on I'm just going to leave if Tony Hawk gets voted out. I don't. I, I'll leave, too. I'll let Andrew take over. <laughs> It's fine. We'll spend the rest of it just talking about how mislabeled Black Bionicle was. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to like that's going to be on your tombstone. Play, like died of COVID. <laughs> it's fucking green, you idiot. 
2020 couldn't come soon enough. So, chat, chat. We've retconned white. Uh, Waluigi Onicle is not a white supremacist, right, guys? I mean, yeah, he okay. might have checked out a rally, but it was definitely not his thing. Yeah, no, he he went and realized, wow, these people are crazy. Saw the air in his ways, and he is now a member of Antifa. <clears throat> So let's see, we've got three idols still in play. This is crazy. We've got Those the Rocket Power come Alliance. In at some point, cause and, lots of problems. Um, Captain Sauron. So Waluigi and Tony Hawk are the only ones not in both alliances here. So they're still fine for now. They The players can still, in theory, pick off Lego characters, which they have not been doing. So I'm curious if we're going to lose Tony Hawk or Waluigi Onicle next. Hope not. Hope not either, but that feels possible. Uh, I think we're going to lose Sauron. I think huh? they might go for Wild Style. They might. Uh, Iron Beard staying, though. He won immunity. Woohoo, Iron Beard! Iron Beard. I'm so excited. So let's see. we got three idols. Uh... Nokama and Sauron bond. I th honestly, I think he just respects that she is the only competent Bionicle. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And that's all that happens. Uh, uh, ch chat, please do not say that 2020 almost being over is overblown. Because then we have to deal with the cruel, cruel reality that 2021 is probably going to suck too. But you know what can't happen in 2021? Ruth Bader Ginsburg can't die again. Trump can't be elected president again. We don't know that yet. I highly doubt his coup will work, but he's still trying, goddammit. This is fair. He is trying. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Things won't be good in 2021, but they won't probably won't be worse. That's really all that matters. So who's going home? And it's not Iron Beard. I'm gonna say Wild Sarah. Style. I, I think it's Wild Style. Blake. I think it's Wild Style. Unless okay. that big alliance decides to backstab someone or break up. I mean, they've been doing it a lot, but I don't know how much longer they do it. If they do it any more than they, I feel like I feel like they cannot vote out another of their own safely. This is true; they can't. Yeah. So, uh, Lego Batman uses his idol on himself. Okay, this is exciting. It's gonna be good. So, Batman received three, four, five, six votes. Hey, seven damn. votes. My boy saved everyone, and he took for? out Wild Style. <laughs> oh, yeah. Batman, why? Because <laughs> Batman knows how to de deflect. Uh, well, uh, apparently he was carrying that rejection a little hard. Yeah. So uh, Batman is able to shift the balance of the game, and he takes out his only shield in Wild Style. Yep. Good job, Batman. Yep. But chat, chat, yeah. we're not going to do a Supreme Court. Blake, do you want to do a Supreme Court Justices Anime Survivor? Yes, I do. OK, it'll happen eventually. That's that's my take on it. Also, Obama's no welcome back. Justice Black. We'll, we'll yeah, fucking Iron do Be it. Beard is still here, and I'm very excited about this. The Supreme Court Justice episode is going to be so terrible. I can just feel it. I will be of no use. Sorry, yeah. I will not appear on that episode. Yeah, same. Yeah, Maybe. I figure it's going to be me, Blake, and Donald. Yep. Yep. Maybe we can get Clayton. No. No. Well, we can. I don't can. think it's worth it. Do you want to? No. No. <laughs> there will be a joke, a, a joke too many in there that are uncomfortable. You mean like now? What? Uh, not, not, not as uncomfortable as they could be. Fair enough. Okay. I mean, ta Taft. Ta we're bringing Taft. <coughs> Gotta bring Taft. Oh. 
right. Okay, so, so yeah, we're we're down to our final seven. Yeah. Which doesn't matter yet. Uh, Sauron finds an idol because yeah, of course. Yeah, he needed that. So as a note, the three that have idols are also in that like they Mega are the, um, yeah the Sauron. So uh, Captain that's probably Sauron our final course. three, honestly. Yeah, that's the final three. I hate it, but it's yeah, there. Lego Batman, you fucked up. Could have taken really out did. Sauron. <laughs> On Tony Hawk. So, uh, I feel like they're going to go for Batman again. Okay. So, letters oh, from home for Tony Hawk, Blue Bionicle, and Sauron. Who writes Tony Hawk's letter? Uh, the developers of Tony Hawk's Pro Skate 2. <laughs> do they, do they, um, is it them explaining to him why Punchy Pits aren't going to be in the remastered? Probably. Huh? Probably something okay. along that line. Uh, Blue Bionicles is probably from one of her students that aren't developed in the movie because it's why is that a thing? And uh, Sam, who writes a letter to Sauron? Uh, probably some uh, oil execs telling him his profit margins. Either that or Bilbo saying he was a I big mean, fan of that ring. I mean, so here's the thing. Are, would you say that his oil fields and orc mines are basically the same thing? Sure. Yeah. Okay checks out and then uh no comma or blue bionicle wins immunity cool well, that didn't need to happen no it didn't i'm all right i think batman's gonna die now yeah unless something happens but he's Ooh, batman. brown bionicle leaves the big alliance uh oh Ooh, maybe brown bionicle's gonna die and by he's... die i mean idle someone out he's still in a side alliance with um he's still in so he's not in rocket uh -oh. power anymore but he's still in captain sauron so he might take a shot at tony hawk or waluigi on a call maybe uh oh no not tony hawk I'm scared the fact no. that like all of our first picks are still in is fucking crazy by the way <laughs> right. it really is <laughs> this is this is the furthest we've gone it really is. I don't know. I mean, like, okay. As a, no, as collectively. A group, yes. Yeah, yeah. Collectively, yes. So we've got. Wait, who who do we think's going home? Uh, I think Brown Bionicle is going to idle, and I think probably take a shot at like Tony Hawk. I don't know though. Don't or he say might that. just take out like Lego Batman. I really don't know where how this is going to go. Watch him fuck up and take out Blue Bion. Uh, take out Sauron. I do feel like we're going to start <laughs> losing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't. Yeah, I, I don't either. So no one uses an idol. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Lego Batman. No. Waluigi yeah. Onicle. Lego yeah. Batman. Lego Batman. Oh. Waluigi Onicle. <sighs> so Lego Batman is voted out five to two. Uh. <laughs> Well, so the leaving with, the alliance didn't do anything. When Nua voting with him. So Brown Bionicle voted with Lego Batman against Waluigi Onicle. He was going to take a shot. He tried. Blake. If he, if he had idled Lego Batman, that yeah. would have worked. <laughs> Blake, who's, I don't, I don't who's think your he's pick? That Are you asking who I'm rooting for now? Yeah. Well, since my childhood's been killed, I guess I'm going to become an adult and root for global warming. <laughs> Oh God! Wrong. Okay, Iron Beard's trying to be in the winning team chat. No, Iron my Beard is the last Lego good. left, and that's important. My child really is. Means he's the best Lego. Mm -hmm. There's no going for the winning team. Nobody wins now. Nope. So we have, yeah, um, <laughs> Rocket Power, which is Blue Bionicle, Sauron, Tony Hawk, and Waluigi Onicle. Versus Captain Sauron, which is Blue Bionicle, Brown Bionicle, and Sauron. <laughs> and yeah, cool. And then Iron Beard's just fucking there, man. Just there. He's hanging just out. Just there. Hanging out. He needs to win a community challenge. So, um, Sauron, Tony Hawk, and Waluigi Onicle get a helicopter tour of the island. Okay. So, Waluigi Onicle obviously transforms into the helicopter. Yeah. And, and Tony Stock Tony... steers it by grinding on the controls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tony Hawk grinds on the propellers to get them to go. And Sauron <laughs> just pollutes. 
And then Sauron wins immunity. <laughs> God damn it. This is just Sauron's fucking game to lose. It really Jesus. is. It's fucking Christ. Okay. Ooh! All right. <laughs> Brown happens? Bionicle has abandoned Captain <laughs> Sauron. Uh, and Ironbeard okay, now and I think Tony an Hawk have formed a new alliance. Yes, Ironbeard. Uh, I'm still not feeling great about Ironbeard, but I feel even worse about Brown Bionicle. Yeah, I, I think I think he's was... going to idle someone this game. Wenu is going to idle someone out. I don't want it to be Ironbeard. It's going to be Ironbeard. Actually, I think it's going to be Waluigi, Waluigi though, because okay. he took a shot at him last time. <laughs> okay, so we've got some developments. Like, th- there's a huge dynamic shift that just happened. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Blue Bionicle and Sauron have an alliance together. Yeah. And then there's also Blue Bionicle, Sauron, Tony Hawk, Waluigi Onicle. And mm-hmm. then Tony Hawk and Ironbeard are in an alliance. Yes. Brown Bionicle has just abandoned everybody. Yep. But him, Blue Bionicle, and Sauron all have idols. Yep. This council is going to be fucking weird. It really I is. I think Blue Bionicle goes home. But Blue Bionicle has an idol. Uh, yes. I'm expecting okay. a weird-ass gambit pile-up to occur. Let's find out. No one plays an idol. Oh, no. First vote, Tony Hawk. No. Don't do this to me. No. No. (laughs) Go for Brown. Good Brown Bionicle. Wanua, Wanua. Okay. So uh, Brown Bionicle, a.k.a. Toa Wanua, is voted out five to one. He just wasn't smart enough to use his idol. Good. Mm -hmm. Woo. He played it, That could have been bad. (laughs) Yeah, that would have been bad. Cool. Max, can I just say I'm I'm super happy Iron Beard's still here. <laughs> what? Super happy Iron Beard still here. I know here. you are. Oh yeah, so someone's coming back now. One of these thirteen is going to win a thing and come back. Right. Oh, Who will win? I don't know. Spaceman. Spaceman Betty. Spaceman Betty. <laughs> nope. Toa Mattel. Brian no. Bionicle's back, bitches. Fucking <laughs> A. All right, he just needs to get voted off now. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Tony Hawk is warming up to Iron Beard, though. Probably because he uses him as a as a ramp. It is a great ramp. He is. He Waluigi realized he could grind immunity. on the plank. Go Waluigi. All right. Go Waluigi Onicle. It's not Tony Hawk, but it's okay. not. But uh, he shares uh, steak and cake with Sauron and Tony Hawk. That's that sounds like a good reward. It does. Steak and cake. I bet I could make a restaurant called that. Ironbeard has a major meltdown. Uh, oh, do you no. think he's just upset that he's surrounded by Bionicles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's probably honest. Yeah. It's like I can't build a pirate ship out of Bionicles. I don't that's know how to how build Bionicles. Works. Master builders aren't trained in that. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, Tony Hawk and Waluigi Onicle bond strongly. I mean, they both great. get big air. Huh? They both get big air. That's true. I mean, Tony Hawk has a skateboard. Waluigi Onicle, noted member of Antifa, realizes that skateboards are the like optimal weapon to have at a protest. Oh, it's yeah. a good you can use it to attack. You can use it to defend. You can use it to. Unfortunately, escape. it doesn't protect you from getting sucked into a van. It doesn't. But like you can you can break a window with it. You can hit someone with it. You can use it to block a hit. You can use it to get the fuck out. It's very versatile. Yeah, it is. It's and true. Waluigi Onicle wants to incorporate that into his own being. And then um, Iron Beard has abandoned Tony Hawk. Sorry. No. I think I, I yeah. It might be green bionicle, but it all also might be Iron Beard's time to go. I'm just gonna hope for green. I'm, I'm I am too. Bye, green. No one uses an yeah, idol yeah. first vote. What the fuck? <laughs> green, Sauron, Iron Beard. Great. Three three ways. Three it's three votes. <laughs> Green, Iron Beard. 
Got one more vote, boys. Come on. Green Bionicles oh, voted out in a 3 2 1 split. Who the fuck oh. voted out Sauron? Or Probably Sauron. Green Bionicle. Huh? Probably Green Bionicle. Yeah. He cost himself the game as uh, Tony Hawk and Waluigi Onicle went for Iron Beard. Yeah, because he did just leave them. They tried. <laughs> like, they're so clearly on the bottom at this point. Yeah. They need to work with Iron Beard, but they won't. <laughs> Maybe who's, who's it's the other way around. Is making noise. Not it. Not me. Blake. Tony Hawk wins immunity. Yeah. How you doing? Though was he at risk? Huh? Was he at risk? Maybe. I don't know. There are going to be two idols in the next tribal council. Everyone's at risk. Ah, oh, this is fun. You mean they're just going to vote on Ironbeard? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, Nakoma and Sauron have idols in a final five. Tony needs that fucking immunity challenge. Yeah. Fair and enough. he's impressing the rest of the team with his awesome kick flips and shit. Yeah. At that airtime. Yeah, he Off did an impossible and just didn't tell them actually it's a pretty easy trick. <laughs> and Max impossible goes. And Max, I'm sorry my chair is making so much noise, but I'm just so upset by finding out the Tesla workers are now deemed essential under the current stay at home order. Yep, they are. Tesla ran over the government. Yeah. I mean, so did Uber and Lyft and DoorDash and Postcart and all those fuckers, so Yep. So we're run by corporations. Can we, can we just take Prop hey. 22 and shove it up hey. its own ass? Hey. Hey. What? And, hey. It's just corporations tell us what to do, and then we have to do it. It doesn't mean we're run by them. You're right. Thanks, Blake. <laughs> I'm going to go complain about Prop 22 existing for the next hour, so, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. So, so it's Iron Beard's time to go home, right? Yeah. yeah. Sadly, yes. I don't want it to be. Sorry, but... Iron Beard. So Sauron <laughs> and Nakoma use their idols. Waluigi Onicle, Iron Beard, Waluigi Onicle, Iron Beard, Iron Beard goes home in a 3-2 vote. Oof. Well, I mean, he made it to the final five. He did good. Uh, Nakoma sided with him. Wow. So blue blue bionicle, maybe she had the hots for iron beard. We don't know, but that happened. So we're in the final four. They're all bionicle characters. Only yeah. one of them is a all real right, bionicle. Well, I guess I'm swapping on to Waluigi Onicle. Okay. Because he is the pinnacle of everything. I, he is. So you know I what think I, what... at this point it is effectively Sora so and Blue Bionicle Sauron's versus Tony Hawk and Waluigi Onicle. But Tony Hawk and Waluigi Onicle don't realize that's where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Since, uh, it's fucking alliances, man. Sauron wins immunity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blake? Of course he does. Blake, this is what happens when we don't take meaningful, when we don't enact meaningful legislation to deal with climate change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not dealing with it until the last minute. This is what nobody happens. can vote him off. No one can vote him it, off. It's this and not anything else. It's so because this. this is a newer season. So Sauron so gives immunity to Tony Hawk. Whoa. Forcing Blue well, Bionicle and Waluigi Onicle to make fire against each other. Come and on, the winner Waluigi. of that is uh, Blue Bionicle. So unfortunately, ah. Waluigi Onicle, pinnacle of manhood, has been eliminated. Sam. Right, fine. Yeah. Our pick, we win. Tony Hawk made it <laughs> to the winners. end of the game. Yes. And while I think we can all agree that Sauron will win, yeah. I don't give a shit. I'm rooting for Tony motherfucking Hawk. Exactly. Tony Hawk is pretty great. Tony. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Sauron because my childhood is dead. I mean, everyone's I'm, childhood is dead. So everyone else's adults. childhood should be dead, too. What? Sauron ends the world, right? So yeah. if we root for Sauron, we're making sure everyone else's childhood sucks yes, too. I if, Sauron, if Sauron wins, 2020 wins, Blake. You can't let 2020 win. Max, 2021 a while ago. Listen, Tony Hawk can 360 the environment back into the way it was. Like, <laughs> A 360 returns Sam. it to Sam. where it's still <laughs> shitty. 
Sam. You have to 180 us. Sam, oh. yeah. you think I give a fuck about the environment right now? What I care about is Batman. Can he Sam, bring Batman back to me or not? Sam, we need to max out our special meter and do a 900. Yeah. It's the only way to can, fix this. Can he bring back Rachel? No. Well, Ross then I, and Rachel are done, Blake. Then I'm not according to dis, not according to HBO Max. They're not. But either way, I'm rooting for Sauron because he can't bring my childhood back. Like we're gonna get a Joey reboot, and he's gonna be with Rachel. And it's going to be a hot mess of garbage. And <laughs> oh yeah. How you don't get a friend reboot. We just get a man. Joey reboot. Yeah. Oh, no. And but Chandler will show but he's up. Played by, a, but he's played by uh, the guy who plays uh, Chandler. Yeah, no. Oh, no Chandler will show up, but it'll just be that actor on drugs. Yeah. Wait, wait. You're saying Matthew Perry isn't already always on drugs? Well, no. He's he's an a he's in recovery, but he's going to lose his sobriety for this one show. <laughs> Seems worth it anyway. The Joey reboot is going to make us the most money. Corporate has told us it hits all four data points of synergy. Okay. So we're at three votes, Blue Bionicle, one vote for Sauron and Tony Hawk. <sighs> two for Sauron, four for Blue Bionicle, three for Sauron, two for Tony Hawk, four for Sauron, so four, four, two. Tony's at three, Sauron's at five, Tony's at four, Sauron, Sauron wins seven, four, four. Which, nice. Let's be My honest, boy. none of us are surprised by, but I'm still upset about. My boy, go yeah. giant eye of death. I mean, how can you vote against Sauron? He so tells Tony you what Hawk, you want to know. What's Here, important is who voted for Tony Hawk, because that's who we were ro- rooting for, and Bad Cop did. Uh, which is crazy, because if I learned anything from the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, it's fuck the police. Damn right. Not just from the music, but from just all no, the no, cops no. in this game. It was good bad. cop. Good cop, good cop took over. Yeah, just for the vote. OK, um, fuck you, Emmett. Uh, Emmett Lord, Business, <laughs> Lord Business voted for Tony Hawk because he saw a money making opportunity. Uh, Vakama voted for Tony Hawk because he respects tribal lands. And Waluigi Onico voted for Tony Hawk because uh, they're gay lovers. They are buds. Huh? They are good buds. Yeah. Uh, Nakoma wins fan favorite, which is not true. So that was, uh, that happened. That was an episode. Honestly, that could have been way worse. Still kind of a shit show. Could have been the Courage episode. That one was terrible. Yeah. Well, at least a Bionicle didn't win. Yeah. <sighs> uh, Sauron won four fucking immunities. Which is tied for most immunities won by a winner with Dogbert. Lord Business received 17 votes. We had six fucking idols. Though, really, only one did anything. And yeah, that was, uh, let's see. Blue Bionicle never received a vote, so that was pretty cool. Sauron got a lot of votes. And uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, don't worry, Pocket Man. We we uh, we we don't think any less of you for being into Bionicle, even though our familiarity with it is just the second movie. We know it's uh, greater than that. Um, that's a I fucking do. lie. You're dead I to do. us. I'm judging you. I don't. He 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 has a bug catcher costume though. I used to dress up as the bug catcher, so there there's a kinship there. In yep. my defense, I also watched the first movie. The first Bionicle movie? Yeah, but I don't remember Jack about it. So Was that like the streamer or? Well, yeah, but I also watched that when I was a kid and it was on like Cartoon Network or something. That makes sense. OK. So I was probably uh, being cool playing like Guitaru Man or some shit. I, I think it was on Toonami. I just yeah, it was. They, anyway. they put them on Toonami and then like Disney XD or something. Man, I Googled it. Yeah, just garbage. That's all we. It's all have. fucking garbage. Anyway, Sauron is now an anime survivor canon because he won a fucking season. So that's Woo! honestly Woo. pretty cool. Um, yeah. That was that was anime survivor. Oh, and if anyone's interested, I did update all the winner rankings after the all winner season. 
And the new highest ranked winner is Mewtwo, not Snake. <sighs> Sorry about that. Because <coughs> I have OCD and that's what I do with my life is uh, obsessively do anime survivor rankings. Anyway, thank you all for joining us today. I hope you have a fantastic week. That's a lie. Um, it'll be terrible. Every week yeah. is terrible. Uh, do not visit your family for Thanksgiving because uh, yeah. COVID. fucking COVID. COVID. Wear a mask. Uh, Be safe. Engage in curfew. Don't go to the fucking Huntington Beach protests. If, Those people are fucking I'm, idiots. If, if and, I'm you know, along for the in, next one, if I die, I just want you all to know this was a waste of time. It was. Damn straight. Uh, next week, we're doing a blood versus water to celebrate Thanksgiving. So we can't have Thanksgiving, but we can do anime survivor Thanksgiving and have them bring their family members in. So that'll be cool. Have a good night. And thank you for watching or fucking whatever. Yep. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone.